day went from really great to not so. This is definitely something you don't want to have happen to you in a foreign country, especially we're just on a random island. So, learn from my mistake. Last week's episode, we spent two days in Northern Ireland, where we saw some Game of Thrones locations and other extraordinary sights. Along with us is Sean's brother, Travis, and his girlfriend, Jamie. Now we are heading to Galway and the Aran Islands for part three of our Ireland series. Morning from Letterkenny. So we're about to head out to Galway. I know we're just gonna kind of explore the city, uh, see if there's any excursions that we can take. And then we're definitely gonna be going to some restaurants and some pubs tonight. Should be a fun day. All right, so also last night, we did forget to show you guys the cottage that we stayed in. It's pretty cute. And it's actually a lot larger than I expected on the inside, but it's kind of messy because we stayed here last night. But this is me and Sean's bedroom. The living room's got a TV. Second room has a bunk bed, but the bottom looks pretty comfortable. That's where Travis and Jamie stayed last night. We've got the kitchen. This little area back here is the bathroom, which is actually pretty large from the bathrooms that I've seen so far. Yeah, definitely come here if you come to Letterkenny. And now to Galway. We decided to take a stop in Bundaran, grab some lunch, before we make it to Goa. But we are now back in the Republic of Ireland where you have to eat outside. You can't eat inside the restaurants, which is fine. Uh, it's a little warm currently. You got the heat wave going on, but we'll make it. <laughs> but if you want to, if you want to leave your car there for a while, if you put in Tyson here, uh -huh. put in Tyson. Okay. You can leave it there for the night. They won't bother us? I won't bother you. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> home sweet home. Ooh. Oh, it's actually really big. You should always plan for extra time when driving in Ireland. Our GPS switched like three times. I swear it's a two and a half hours when we left. Easily four hour drive. So we just got to Galway and just met the nicest Airbnb host we've ever had. His name is Ernie and our actual Airbnb is right above his little shop. We got some fresh fruit from him, we got some eggs for breakfast, and now we're just trying to get our stuff around so we can go explore Galway. finally all settled into our flat in Galway and now we're gonna head to the Latin Quarter to get some drinks, maybe some dinner. I'm gonna switch to my phone for the rest of the night. The quality might not be the best, but I want you guys to see what nightlife in Galway is right now. So let's get on with it. So we're on day two of our Galway trip. We had to travel about an hour away from Galway to go to the Aran Islands. This is one of the things that I was the most excited for, so I can't wait to do this. It's about a 45 minute ferry. You can actually bike around the entire island. Um, it's supposed to be very beautiful there, so I can't wait for this. That's our ferry. Thank you for staying with Ireland. 
Well, we just made it on the island. Now we're about to go grab some bikes and take a tour around it. We're having a little bit of some technical difficulties. Uh, Travis's chain keeps on falling off, so he's gonna have to go back and get another bike. A 30 minute bike ride up into the wormhole and then we'll probably loop back around. I already know this is gonna be an awesome day. uphill right now so hopefully it starts going down soon I am biking with one hand on this road all for the vlog I feel like I'm gonna die not a shame, but it'll be worth it. We gotta hurry up. What did he it's say? We gotta find it. What do you wanna do? Where did he say to go? He said we could walk this way, it's a lot of walk. I don't know, that's where they came out with. It's 3.30 now, we gotta be back by five o'clock to catch the ferry. It took us about an hour to get here, so we don't have much time to explore. We're actually not even there yet. <laughs> I think we're pretty close. It is gorgeous out here though. It's pretty cool looking. I think we might have made it to the wormhole. We haven't really seen it yet, but this bike ride and hike was Definitely very challenging. Jump. Woo! I hit that water and almost cried. Really? Oh. Did it hurt? No, it just hurt because it was cold. Yeah. Well, change of plans. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it back in time for the five o'clock ferry. So we're gonna have to try to find some accommodations for the night here. See what happens. This day went from really great to not so. Can't find a place to sleep. The last ferry went out. Um, I'm burnt to a crisp right now. We're all sleepy and really hungry. We've barely eaten today. Definitely a tip for the Aran Islands. Make sure you come early. And if you think you're gonna stay, book something because this predicament we're in right now, I'm actually kind of worried. I think we'll figure it out one way or another, but this is definitely something you don't want to have happen to you in a foreign country, especially we're just on a random island. So, learn from my mistake. Do you have any openings or availability for tonight? Don't. Oh, don't tell me. We're stranded here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, let me see. Aldrin did have um, a cancellation. Let me call her and see if she... Thank, thank you so thank much. You so much. <laughs> just for two of you, is it? It's actually four. Or, yeah, it doesn't matter. This is the four. Yeah. <laughs> At this point. All gone. You don't know anybody, no problem. You and Travis want to ride over that ferry and just see if there's an off chance that they might be going back and they could take us, and then her and I will ride over to the CB real quick. Oh, those people are trying to wave them down. The Joe Waddies? Yeah. It's further down, we're waiting for you. It's literally right here. I thought that was so He had the, he had the last room, so. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. it. That was lucky. Crisis averted. 
We found the last room on the entire island, so we're not sleeping on a beach tonight. It's actually super comfy and has an amazing view right at overlooking the ocean. So we're waiting in line now. It's supposed to be one of the top 10 uh, restaurants and pubs in Ireland. So everything happens for a reason. <laughs> While we're in our glamping pod for the night, we ended up just talking to our neighbors for about an hour and a half. Um, they're from Dublin, super nice people. Used to American uh, air condition, so it's been. Oh yeah, yeah, we don't have that. Yeah, we don't do that. at night with being like seven, seven feet. It's just not usually warm, so we yeah. don't need it. We're all exhausted. It's been a very long day with a lot of crazy shit that happened. The sunburn, red. Look how shiny my face is. Look at mine. I'm like sweating. And it's just from the sunburn. I'm not even hot. Oh, God. Tomorrow will be better. Yeah. And we are 100% coming back to Ireland. Everybody's just been great. So yeah. Night was awesome sitting out there talking to them. But anyways, good night, guys. We'll see you in the morning on the yeah. cliffs to Mohair. We survived our night of golfing. Everybody was super comfortable except for Jamie. She slept on the couch part of the pool out bed. She said it was pretty rough. Woke up to this absolutely beautiful view. And now we're gonna head to the ferry, hopefully be able to get on it. Last night, I literally, in scared. my sleep, poured an entire bottle of water on myself. Yeah, I thought to, she to cool myself bed. off. <laughs> And I know I did it because I had a dream that I did it. And then I woke up and my entire side of the bed was wet with the water bottle on top of me. We were going to sleep on the beach. We couldn't find anywhere to stay or they were all booked Why up. didn't you ring me? I didn't think about it. Because we, sir, I'm suppl we're supplying the island since 1911. Really? Yeah, I would have got, I would have got your, I got your accommodation. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That's when he decided to want to lend us a tent. Yeah, well, I, I was like, give us a broom closet. Room. Like, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, I can come <laughs> so, in. Please. Yeah, that's just we came down here to ask. Sure. Okay, but you're also six foot, bro. Jump off your other foot. There you go.